In the early morning hours of July 7, 1985, Ricky Davis and Connie Dahl called to report the murder of 54-year-old Jane Hilton at a house in El Dorado Hills, California. Hilton had been stabbed 29 times and had a bite mark on her left shoulder. Hilton's body appeared to have been moved and the crime scene appeared staged. The three occupants of the house at the time law enforcement arrived were interviewed by detectives. Ricky Davis and Connie Dahl reported discovering Hilton's body after returning from a party in the Cameron Park area. Hilton's then 13-year-old daughter stated she had left the residence that night and identified three teenage boys that she had encountered at a park. She identified them as Calvin, Michael, and Steve or Brian. No charges were brought following the initial investigation in 1985. The case was reopened in 1999. All of the three occupants were re-interviewed several times. During an interview characterized as extremely accusational and suggestive, Connie Dahl asserted for the first time that she, Ricky Davis, and the victim's 13-year-old daughter participated in the murder and that she, Connie, bit the victim during the violent struggle. Charges were filed and Connie Dahl entered into an immunity agreement and testified against Ricky Davis in July of 2005. The jury found Ricky guilty of murder. Since that time, Ricky has maintained his innocence. In 2012, District Attorney Vern Pearson and the Northern California Innocence Project agreed to submit the evidence for additional forensic testing. In 2014, the Sacramento District Attorney's Crime Lab identified an unknown male DNA profile from saliva on the victim's nightgown in the area of the bite mark. In 2018, the Northern California Innocence Project brought a motion for a new trial premised on the unknown male DNA profile and the coercive interrogation of Connie Dahl. The Honorable Judge Kenneth Malikian heard the evidence and ordered a new trial. In 2019, the El Dorado County District Attorney and the Sacramento County District Attorney worked to identify the unknown male DNA profile by using genetic genealogy. The use of genetic genealogy thus far has helped solve dozens of cold case homicides. Investigators and the Sacramento District Attorney's Crime Lab combined the sciences of forensic DNA and genealogy to use genetic genealogy to solve crimes with evidence from an unknown DNA sample. From the unknown sample, they create a genetic profile and searched for similar profiles that would indicate relatives. Then, they use that information to develop a family tree for the suspect. This can lead investigators to identify an individual in the family tree who may be the source of the crime scene DNA or the unknown DNA profile. Then, investigators can use traditional forensics to confirm the suspect's identity. Using this new technology, the DNA profile was identified as belonging to one of the three individuals identified by first name only by the victim's 13-year-old daughter in 1985. The three males who were described by the victim's daughter have been located. One is deceased and one is in custody. On February 12, 2020, the El Dorado County District Attorney's Office filed a motion to dismiss charges against Ricky Davis. The district attorney's office is still in the process of investigating this case in the pursuit of justice.